Hello and welcome to Blind Watch, where I blindly watch the best episode of your favorite show with zero knowledge of the events that led up to that episode. Why? Well, back in the day when we used to watch TV. We didn't start the show season 1 episode 1. We started somewhere in the middle and had to piece the story together through reruns. But now, thanks to the internet, we don't do that anymore. So there's no more confusion. And confusion is part of the fun. At least for me it is. Today I'm going to be watching The O.C. Quite a few episodes showed up as the best episodes, including some of the Chris Mucka episodes, I think that's how you say it, the Dearly Beloved episode, the pilot episode, but the one that was mentioned the most was season 2, episode 14, The Rainy Day Women. Thank you to Iron Man and 7KS45 for recommending the show. Now, what do I know about the OC? Absolutely nothing. I'm assuming it's a romantic drama about a bunch of people with very comfortable lives who love to complain about it. And my predictions for this episode are, well, it's going to be raining, I'm sure, which is convenient because it's actually raining today as I'm filming. And there's going to be a woman in the rain. There's going to be a big romantic gesture at the end of the episode that happens in the rain. So two of the people in the cast are going to, I don't know, kiss each other in the rain or something. It's going to be real slow, some nice dramatic romantic music playing over it and yeah let's find out if i'm right it's raining in the oc i know it's crazy i gotta tell you the traffic is a nightmare the well like i said before it's actually raining outside right now too so what a nice coincidence wait wasn't this guy on gilmore girls just go get an umbrella Telling me you have a house this big and there aren't any umbrellas sitting by the door? So I'm in a loser, man. Summer's leaving for Italy tomorrow. Yeah, well, I haven't talked to Lindsay since she ran out of Caleb's. Well, you should talk to her. I don't talk to anyone. Okay, I guess they're both having relationship problems. So what does the OC stand for? But for real though, isn't it kind of stereotypical of houses this big to have those little umbrella case things where a character will like walk in in the rain, close the umbrella and just drop it inside? Like we become like strangers. Well, I was taught never to talk to strangers. I'm sorry you're upset. Really? Because last time I checked, everything was all my fault. I'm assuming this is a dad and daughter pairing. I realized I couldn't leave without saying goodbye. Well, as long as you don't flee, we have a chance with your case. Please. Her case? You see, on trial, what'd she do? She asked for the manager one too many times at a local coffee shop. No, she threw the coffee in a barista's face. You know, I used to like the punk in my day. Mom! Oh, you're right, Marissa. It still is my day. Mom looks like Aubrey Plaza and Dakota Johnson mixed together. So how about this weather, huh? Unbelievable. That's like 90% of adult movie scenarios now. Alex is my girlfriend. I know. And I'm so happy that you've made a new friend. No, mom, not my friend who's a girl. My girlfriend. What's mom going to do? I'm assuming mom's going to be okay with it. I don't think this is the type of show to have some seriously heavy conflict. Like, I'm kicking you out of the house. I'm sending you to a uh, pray to gay away camp. I'm going to find you a nice boy like uh, Evan from down the street. And we're going to fix this. Please let me in. Come on. No, not in the room, on her carpet. Okay, come here. Great, now her room's gonna smell like wet dog for a couple days. DNA test. Scheduled you a DNA test? I was gonna pack up to move in with my dad, but since he might not be my dad, I was thinking about packing up for Chicago. Three dollars. The guy is actually her dad, and this is just a minor hiccup. I don't know that I wanna know. It's not gonna stop until you know the truth. Besides, if you are his daughter, you still have reason to stay. I mean, you have other reason. Just like men, to be thinking about himself, even though she's the one with the problem. <laughs> Who looks good in this much yellow? Taxi drivers. Spider-Man here is really the only protective waterproof headgear I have. Wow, you're really going, huh? How could I not be? I am in his sister's wedding. You are? Why do you think I look like Lemon Meringue? Bridesmaid's dress? That is an ugly <laughs> That is an ugly bridesmaid's dress. It's got me all tongue-tied. My marriage has nothing to do with your case. Come back with me. We'll explore amnesty. <laughs> I told her, my mom, about us. Once again, there's nobody own umbrellas. I told her so this could be real. I can't go home. So stay here. But first, let's get you out of these wet clothes. Ow! 
Why, why are you gonna cut away? Uh, whatever. If the tests come back positive, then we'll adopt you, right? Except I don't know if I want him to adopt me. Wait, so they're supposed to be teenagers. I guess I was assuming they were college kids, but if they're talking about adoption, I mean, you, you can adopt an adult, but I feel like that's less likely what they're talking about. How long is this weather supposed to last? I don't think my hair can take it. I don't know if my marriage can. Wait, is this the woman who was lying down in bed while the, the older man was talking to her? Or was it someone else? Now I'm confused. My life is a pretty big mess. My husband is currently transporting a fugitive who used to be his ex-girlfriend. Well, I'll see your fugitive former flame and raise you a lesbian daughter. Well, I'm sure it's just a phase. It was for me. Oh, wow. This is definitely a product of its time. This wouldn't fly today. Please. Take it easy. Sir, the road is completely washed out ahead. We need you to turn around. We should have the road open by morning. Oh, they're gonna go stay at a hotel together? There's lodging a few miles back. Yeah, I saw that coming. They're gonna get a one-room stay. They're gonna tease them, him potentially cheating on his wife, and then go, Psych, you thought. That's not gonna happen. He's a good man. That's my prediction. We'll see if I'm right. Just sold the boat for bus fare. I did. Damn it. Eureka, Ryan! I shall buy back the summer breeze. He looks so familiar. I knew I've seen him in something before. Gilmore Girls. Then Eureka, Ryan! You freaking Eureka! Eureka what? Huh? Huh? You're listening to Boys to Men and this song is so sad. Okay, now he also looks very familiar. You're taking all that? We're gonna be backpacking. Oh, he was on Smallville. He played Lex Luthor's clone of a brother. A cloned version of Lex Luthor's brother. It's whatever. Do you not want to come? Well, no, yes. I, I just... I have to get a special plug for my hair dryer. I already got you one. Oh my god, just say no. Of course you did. Hey, don't mess with the man's feelings like this. Just say no. Straight up. You're lucky today was paid. Should I be getting dressed or are we going back to that? Oh my. <laughs> Who better than a superhero understands secret identity? Okay. Now hold on, just want to make sure I have the visual. Okay, whoa, get out of there. You've seen enough. Washed out road, cheap motel. Cheap wine. Oh, getting stuck here overnight. Mm-hmm. Here we are, all alone. All right, let's see if I'm right. It's like nothing else exists. Tomorrow we head back to reality, but for now, it's just us. Except it's not just us. Yeah. It hasn't been just us for 20 years. I was right. That's a point on the board for me. I appreciate you selling me my boat back. I made some modifications to her. Well, damn. So much for that plan. Hey, honey. Hi. Oh, this is the wife. I would like to talk to you about your friend. I'm sure you would, Mom. Look, Marissa, I experimented too when I was your age. Mm. I understand that this is a phase, but I won't make a big deal out of it if you don't. Right. This way you avoid any public embarrassment. You would think the Audrey Plaza Dakota Johnson hybrid would be more accepting. By the way, our exes are dating each other now. Thanks for real. God, I hope so. I just wanna... Are they gonna high five? Before you get on that plane, I need you to give me one last shot. You had your shot. Remember when we were dating and you sailed away? But she's with this new guy now. It's too late. I mean, when you're with him, is it, is it like what we had? It just seems like these guys don't know when to stop or accept no. It wasn't as awesome as what you had with Ryan, otherwise you wouldn't have left. So you know what, now I'm leaving you. Wait a second, I didn't even notice that telephone. What the hell was that? Someone please say something. A lot of random Okay, so let's see if I was right about my other prediction. Hello, we have a match. Caleb Nickel is the father of Lindsay Wheeler Gardner. I knew you were my daughter. <laughs> Wait, is that good? Yeah, that's... So everything stays status quo. Can we talk about last night? No, we got nothing to talk about other than your case and this traffic. I mean, you tried to have an affair with a married man. So, what we had meant nothing. It meant everything to me then. But those days are over. Now I got a family that I love and I'm not throwing that away. I gotta get back to Newport and make sure they know that. Keep your eyes on the ro- Oh. 
Well, that wasn't too bad a crash. They should be fine. You guys all right? We're okay. Sorry to call 911. Cops are on the way. The truck's right. All right, thank you. All right, she's a fugitive. I gotta go. Cops are coming. They're gonna arrest me. So we'll talk to them. You can't run again. Watch me. You're right. What we had was a long time ago. You let it go. I guess this is goodbye. Oh my god, Cohen, she's in a relationship. Let it go. I just wanted to say sorry to leave things like that, okay? And I hope you have a good trip. There's no more closet space. I know, I'm sorry. Garbage day's tomorrow. Do you mind taking out the cans? And rent is due the first day of the month. Okay, rent. Hmm. All packed. Call Caleb. I know you're coming. No, because I'm not. What does that mean? I talked it over with my mom, and I'm gonna go with her to Chicago. Chicago, Chicago. I guess this is goodbye. Here we go, buddy. Hours of mind-numbing escapism. It's raining heavy. Of course the TV's not working well. This I can't fix. I need you. My sister is having an anxiety attack. She's really superstitious, and she thinks this whole thing is a sign that she shouldn't marry Rodolfo. I don't know, maybe a girl's point of view. Sure. Uh oh, this is gonna bounce back hard on him. She's gonna be the one realizing that she made a mistake. Another prediction. Are you coming? I can't do it. I mean, I can't go. I can't do this. Well, that backfired quickly, quickly. She didn't even have the conversation yet. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it past security. Can't fight fate. How come this guy's always getting the short end of the stick? Here he doesn't get the girl in Smallville, he gets assassinated, he gets a hit called on him by his own brother. Has he ever been in something where he wins in the end? Oh my god, an umbrella! Finally! Don't get hit by lightning on that roof, buddy. Okay, so I've already seen the picture of him hanging upside down for a parody of the Upside Down Kiss in Spider-Man, so I know what's coming here. He's gonna slide off the roof. Yep, there it is. You sure you don't want to come in? The band is really, really good. Oh no, I should get back. The dishes aren't gonna wash themselves. Bye. What, she doesn't like being a housewife? Hey. I guess that was a part of their character development. Learning that umbrellas existed. Cohen? Help! Anyone? Cohen? Someone? And here it is. What are you doing here? What do you think, Cohen? Congratulations to both of them, I guess. Too bad that other guy got caught in the middle, but oh well. To be expected. So that was the OC. That Cohen guy really needs to learn how to respect boundaries. The best arc in the whole episode was the Umbrella arc by a mile, not even close. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.